Hello, race fans, and welcome back to the More Freedom Series. Today we have traveled to the Kentucky Speedway for the Kentucky 60. This is going to be race number 30 in the More Free Freedom Series Season 4. And with the season winding down, let's go through your top 10 in points. Your points leader is still the double zero of Mudbone. Second's going to be the 20 of Adam B5000. Third will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. Fourth will be the 25 of JTM. Fifth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Sixth will be the 40 of Veteran Chaos. Seventh will be the 10 of Scooter. Eighth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Ninth will be the 49 of Jetman. And running at your top 10, the 72 of Duchess. Let's take a look at your team and chassis standings. Douche Motorsports still leads the way over MBR. Third place is going to be Amish Buggy Racing. Fourth is Aces to Zed Motorsports. And rounding out your top five will be the Drop Bear Racing Team. Chassis standings are Dodge, Chevy, Toyota, and Ford. So that's a look at all things points for race number 30 here in the More Freedom Series Season 4. They're getting these cars dialed in, and I think it's about time, so let's go racing. Let's go through your starting top 10 as they get these cars fired up. Starting on the pole will be the 96 of Nico, and on his outside, the 8 of Moon Bunny. Starting third will be the 72 of Duchess, and on her outside is the 95 of Zed Brenna. Starting fifth will be the 29 of Wishbone Attack, and on his outside, the 07 of Douche Baggins. Starting seventh will be the 34 of Super Snake, and on his outside, the 49 of Jetman. Starting ninth will be the 999 of Deviant, and rounding out your top 10 will be the 544 of Frederick Winklevom. So that's a look at your starting top 10 today for this Kentucky 60. Lots of both MBR and Douche Motorsports drivers starting in the top 10 as a fight for that team points championship here in the More Freedom Series. I feel like that's going to come down to the wire. Another poll today for the 96 of Nico. He is currently third in the career points as he's fallen to third after Mudbone has taken those over. Speaking of Mudbone, you see him there in your picture. He is starting in the 12th position today. The 20 of Adam B5000 starting way back in 29th, but leading us down to take the green flag here today will be the 96 of Nico with the 72 of Duchess on his outside and the Moon Bunny to his right. So Douche Motorsports surrounding him. Green flag is out and we are underway. Nico already jumping out to a lead over the eight of Moon Bunny, who takes a, who continues to reside in the second position in front of the 72 of Duchess. Duchess now running into the third. Here comes the 29 of Wishbone Attack down to her inside here as they work through three and four. So Duchess is trying to keep the third position as the 29 and the 34 line up to the bottom here. So Duchess still in the third position as the 29 of Wishbone Attack falls back a little bit there. Your leader. On lap number one will be that 96 of Nico. Let's bring up your timing and scoring. As always, your top 10 will be on the left. Favorite driver scoring across the top. Lap one, led by the 96 of Nico. Lap two, looks like it be, might be led by the eight of Moon Bunny as she rolls down to the inside and around the 96 of Nico as they head down onto the front stretch. Again, kind of like the cookie cutter tri-oval deal that, that uh, all these, you know, Kentucky, Las Vegas, uh, Kansas, <laughs> multiple tracks look like. So Nico falls back to the second position as now Duchess has a challenge from possibly the 95 of Zed Brunna. As we watch the eight of Moon Bunny take over your lead and continue to lead here at Kentucky. We see the 72 of Duchess right there in the third position as the 95 of Zed Brunna who started in the fourth position is residing in the fourth position. So we're gonna see if the 96 is able to stay in the second position, maybe make a run on the eight of Moon Bunny here. We'll jump back to the back of the pack, see what's going on as we see the 20 of Adam B5000 has fallen back to second to last place. Again, he started 29th here today. He's right there in front of the 329 of Heck of a Duber. 
As he's working down to the inside of possibly the 660 of Garrett Miller and the three of Geek Girl Games as we got three wide right now between the 203 of Signs and the 777 of Seabass and the 799 of Mike Check as we see the 25 of JTM in your picture right there on the outside of the two, I think that's the, uh, the uh, 211 of Hogs. So JTM is going to try to work and try to get to another top 10 position here today as we see his teammates dropping down to the inside the 88 of NM down to the inside of the 71 of Kung Fu Beer as Scooter works underneath the 11 of TC Roberts here. So some great on track action right now as we head up towards the front of this field we see the double zero of Mudbone trying to work underneath that 544 Frederick Winklebaum as the 49 of Jetman trying to get underneath the 07 of Douche Baggins his teammates the 29 of Wishbone attack down to his inside right here so Wishbone who has had a rough year this year currently running 32nd in the points trying to get a win under his belt for NBR maybe get a few of these NBR teammates into the top 10 as Nico runs in the second position and uh, Wishbone in the six, seventh and Jetman in the sixth position. So the more NBR cars they're wanting to get into the top 10, the better. As it looks like the 544, Frederick Winklevom will make that pass on him there. We'll follow along with that 95 of Zed Brunna. The Pink Panther here is currently running into the fourth position. Pink Panther is fifth. And overall points this season right now, he is looking for a good a good deal here today. If he can get possibly get a win under his belt again here today, that would definitely help him in these last seven races as we head towards the finish of this season. Uh, so a lot of these drivers are definitely needing those wins here today to be able to catapult themselves into possibly the lead of these points. But that double zero of Mudbone who still resides there in the eighth position right behind the 29 of Wishbone Attack, but he is a couple cars behind the 544 Frederick Winklebaum, who is in third in points, but Frederick almost 300 points behind this double zero of Mudbone. Almost Mudbone's season to lose at this point as we finish these last seven races here. He currently is up almost 200 points on the 20 of Adam B5000. Those five wins this season, marking the highest wins of anyone in a season so far here in the More Freedom Series. As we see the 49 of Jetman down to the inside of that 07 to Douche Baggins. So Jetman trying to take away a position from Douche Motorsports, give it to NBR. I don't know if he's going to be able to do it. We're going to see if he can get it down into turn one. As we work lap number 11 here, so Jetman not able to make that pass into three and four. I think it's going to be, it's going to, oh, we're going to see the 544 and the 29. The 29 is going to make it three wide here. So the 29, a wishbone attack, makes it three wide with the 544. Frederick Winklevom, he's allowing the double zero of Mudbone to get a little bit of a draft help on him. If Mudbone can keep that draft with the 29 of wishbone attack maybe they can push around this 544 frederick winklevom that draft doesn't work they're able they have to fall back in line so frederick i think is up another position or may i know he stays in that same position so that good run early on by the eight of moon bunny who still leads here has led 12 laps now of the 13 that we have under our belts um, she definitely had a great run there at the beginning so I mean early on early going here in the more freedom series in this Kentucky 60 this 8 of Moon Bunny looks like she does have the car to beat highlighting the fact that Douche Motorsports in the form of Douche Baggins has the fastest lap of the day so far at 194.142 miles per hour so we see the 72 of Duchess possibly was trying to make a move on the 90 on the 96 of Nico. As we see the 95 of Zed Brunna jumping down to her inside. He's going to get a run here through the turn. We're going to see if he can keep a hold of that car. 
maybe not hit the bottom and get into that those marbles as Duchess comes down a little bit here. He does hit the the, the stripe a little bit. That's going to hurt his ability going into turn one. She is going to be able to keep the third position right now. As we see the 07 and the 49 right now battling for that fifth position. The 49 down to the inside. We're going to see if he can finally take that position away from the 07 of Douchebaggins. DB not giving it up right away. He is fighting right now for that fifth position here. Jetman might lose this to the 544. Frederick Winkelbaum. Frederick making it three wide. Ooh, almost into the back bumper of the 07 of Douchebaggins. Is that 544? Frederick Winkelbaum. So Frederick almost takes out the 07 of Douche Baggins there as we have four cars now lined up underneath the 07. We're going to see if the 544, the 29, and the double zero can get it done here. DB still fighting hard on the outside. He might be giving this up to the 49 here any second. Still fighting very hard. Is that 07 of Douche Baggins? We're going to see if the 544 and the 29 go with him. Looks like it's going to be the 29 and the 49 as the double zero of Mudbone dropping down to the inside. He's going to try to push that 29 and the 49 along here. They get a little bit of a draft help here as Frederick's still thinking about making it three wide. The 49 of Jetman battling hard with that double zero, or the, the 49 of Jetman is battling hard with the zero seven of Douchebaggins. There we go. He might lose this position here to the 544 Frederick Winkelbaum. DB dropping down to the inside, cuts it low. Almost. I think a Jetman had to get out of the gas right there as we see pit stops underway here at Kentucky. We'll follow along with this eight of Moon Bunny as she is going to be stopping any minute as we see several four drivers so far into those pits. We're going to see if Moon Bunny comes in. It'd be a great stop right now. She's got about a half second lead on the 96 of Nico right now. And if she stops here, she'll have a pretty clear pit road and she is stopping. Here comes the 96 as well, the 72, the 95, all into the pit. So most of the leaders coming in here. So the eight of Moon Bunny, I think is leading the entirety of the field right now down pit road. We saw, we see every driver pulling into their pits. So with 20, ooh, this is going to be close. I think though this will be their only pit stop of the day here today as I think it's going to be a one pit stop affair as we see left side tires going on to the, 90, the 8 and the 96 and the 72 right now. It's going to be a four tire stop for all these drivers, four tires and as much fuel as they can pack into these cars. Left side tires are finally on. Nico, oh no, another tough break for the 96 of Nico. His pit, his pit crew really just screws him out of another win here today. So the 96 of Nico, an unfortunate affair here in Kentucky. His pit crew has another major meltdown, isn't able to get him out back into the second position. As we see a potential battle for the lead right now between possibly the 40 of Veteran Chaos, the eight of Moon Bunny, and the 29 of Wishbone Attack. So Vet and Wishbone get a great pit stop, I think. We're gonna, we're gonna confirm that in just a moment. Big loser on these pit stops is going to be that 96 of Nico as he is definitely goes from the second position in a, in a point to win this race and he falls back to the 10th position here. So let's go through your current top 10. Your leader is the 8 of Moon Bunny with what I feel like is the car to beat here today. Second's going to be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Third will be the 40. Get veteran Chaos. Fourth will be the 999 of Deviant. Fifth will be the 72 of Duchess. Sixth will be the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. Seventh will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Eighth will be the 07 
of Douchebaggins. Ninth will be the double zero of Mudbone. And rounding out your top ten will be the 96 of Nico. So big losers on those pit stops. Going to be the 96 of Nico and the 49 of Jetman, both falling to way back here into 10th and 12th, respectively, from 2nd and, I believe, 4th or 5th. But those picking up the most spots, I, it's going to be the 29 of Wishbone Attack, that 999 of Deviance as well, and the 71 of Kung Fu Beer. I think KFB actually was, he started at 11th here today. So he was a big winner after those pit stops, as well as the 40 of Veteran Chaos, who started 14th. But the question here on everybody's minds is does anybody have anything for this number eight hot, to hot topic Chevy for Douche Motorsports? Moon Bunny has got that. She is just got it hooked up here today. And she is looking for, I believe, her second win of the season here in the More Freedom Series. So I was going to look up those stats, but it would help if I typed in the, the, the code right. Anyway, Moon Bunny is your leader here in the More Freedom Series. He, she leads over the 29 of Wishbone Attack and the 40 of Veteran Chaos. We'll figure it out later. We'll figure out that winning thing later. So Moon Bunny leads as Wishbone falling back here. He was within just a couple car lengths. Has now fallen back to half a second behind the eight of Moon Bunny. She definitely has the car to beat here today as we see the 40 of Veteran Chaos possibly trying to get down to the inside. Doesn't do it. The 72 of Duchess is caught up to the 999 of Deviant. Kind of single file racing right now here at Kentucky with about 12 laps to go. New fastest lap of the day is going to be by last week's winner, the 300 of Resemble at 195.075 miles per hour. Resemble currently in the 29th position. Just to note, uh, the 10 of Scooter and the 203 of Signs, not sure what happened to them, but they are now both a lap down here today see if I can find them on the track. There is signs and uh, not sure where Scooter is. Oh, the 544 Frederick Winklebaum after his pit stop has fallen back to 24th position. Yes, so Scooter's right here running behind the 25 and the 356. Three, the 25 of JTM currently running in the 15th position. So again, not sure what happened to Scooter and signs there losing a lap. We'll jump back up here to the front with just a few laps to go here. And again, the eight of Moon Bunny has pulling away from the field. She is now up almost a second, possibly a full second now on the 29 of Wishbone Attack with about 10 laps to go. I don't think we'll see an additional pit stop here today. It's stranger things have happened, but I don't think we will see an additional pit stop here today at Kentucky by any of these by any of these drivers, at least we shouldn't. I mean, they stopped on about lap 20, so they stopped about exactly at halfway. So your leader at halfway will have been the eight of Moon Bunny. But she has basically checked out here at Kentucky and driven away from the rest of the field as she has just left the 29 and the 40 in her dust. I'm looking at her lap times right now. She's running about a 28.931, and everybody else is at least a tenth. Well, Wishbone and, and Vetter at least a tenth of a second slower than her right now. There were some people that were faster than her, but they were way back in the pack, you know, probably with the draft back there.
So it's going to be another good points day for Douche Motorsports if Moon Bunny can make it all the way to the finish right now as she is definitely now up well over a second on second and third position right here. And then it is Deviant's about two seconds back to, oh, it looks like the 71 of Kung Fu Beer able to make it around the 72 of Duchess. So KFB now into the fifth position. He's working to he's possibly working to the outside of the 999 of Deviants. So KFB slides a little high here. Maybe he's found his groove on the outside. Kager racing both drivers right now in the top 10. Actually make that both drivers in the top five here today. So that's going to be a good points day for Kager racing who currently runs seventh in team points. They might be able to say overtake G3 Motorsports and move into the sixth position here. That low line through the tri-oval area on the front stretch, definitely not as good as it should be as they get down and hit that apron. Having led so far 35 laps here today at Kentucky, working on lap number Leading lap number 36 is that eight of Moon Bunny. She is basically looking for, it's not even a sweep. She started on the outside pole. She led, Nico was able to lead lap number one. He's going to get those 10 bonus points, but 10 more bonus points go into this eight of Moon Bunny. She actually is at 27th in points this season in the More Freedom Series. So another, I think she is, I swear that she has won a race earlier this season in the More Freedom Series. I am looking at it up right now to see if that's the case. So watching this eight of Moon Bunny, she has... She actually has two wins this season so far in the More Freedom Series. So she is working on win number three this season. Again, very it's been a rough season for Moon Bunny. She has had these she's gonna have these three wins. As I believe we're gonna get the white flag next time around. She's had these three wins, but all of her other she has just had a rough go this season here in the More Freedom Series. She's I want to say has had several, several DNS this year. Checking in. Now she's only had one DNF. So just been rough go this season here in the More Freedom Series as white flag out. One lap to go for the eight of Moon Bunny. She's down the back stretch. Looks like Vet actually had to pit there. So Veteran Chaos having to come into the pits is going to lose the third position. Moon Bunny taking it down. She's under the front stretch. She's getting ready to cross the line. Your winner here today at Kentucky, the eight of Moon Bunny. So great run for the eight of Moon Bunny here today. She was able to lead 40 of the 41 laps and take home that win. Well, let's go through your finishing top 10. Again, your winner is the eight of Moon Bunny. Second's gonna be the 29 of Wishbone Attack. Third will be the 999 of Deviant. Fourth will be the 72 of Duchess. Fifth will be the 95 of Zed Brunna. Sixth will be the 07 of Douche Baggins. Seventh will be the 51 of AJM. Eighth will be the double zero of Mudbone. Ninth will be the 11 of TC Roberts and rounding out your top 10 will be the 96 of Nico. So Nico ended up losing like three or four positions right there at that flag. I'm not sure what happened to him. Also to note, the KF KFB also had a stop for fuel there. Well, next week, we, we continue to wind down this season as we head up to Michigan for the Michigan 60. So that should be another great race here in the More Freedom Series. I'm looking forward to that. Let's check in on your points, as I believe the double zero of Mudbone will have extended his lead over the rest of the field. 
Let's also check in on your team and chassis standings. Another big win today for Douche Motorsports. Well, that's going to do it today for us here at the Kentucky Speedway. Congratulations again with her third win of the season. That goes to the eight of Moon Bunny. So congratulations again to Moon Bunny. She is your winner here at Kentucky. And until next week at Michigan, take care.